in the last class where we stand yes no okay nobody knows bank statement manual okay yeah good So everyone, can you please respond? So here I can create vendor and uh, vendor and customer activities. Vendor and customer. For example, everyone, otherwise customer and vendor, whatever customer and vendor activities so everyone i can create the customer uh, what is the customer for example i can create the customer we, we customer is called um example any customer uh, example ac private limited private limited and uh, here vendor vendor is av private limited av private limited <laughs> and uh, here if you post vendor in customer invoice Customer invoice. What is the T code? Customer invoice. FP60. FP70. FP70. So what is the accounting entry? AC. Private limited. Account data. To any income. Example. Commission received any income everyone. Sales also one of the income. Here I am taking one lakh twenty thousand, and here one lakh twenty thousand, and uh, here customer payment, customer payment. T code. F dash twenty eight. F dash twenty eight. Uh, incoming bank incoming or incoming anything one second what is the accounting entry guys what is the accounting entry will come Incoming, Incoming account debt cash. Payment Bank, okay. account data to cash. Sorry. What is accounting entry? Customer. Uh, customer AC private, AC private limited. AC private limited. AC private limited. How much value? Uh, here. One lakh twenty thousand and one lakh twenty thousand. Here you can observe simultaneously. Let's make vendor also. Simultaneously, let's make vendor also. The vendor is. Vendor invoice posting. T code. T code everyone. FB 60. What is the accounting entry? What is the accounting entry? 
person received account data to a commission paid account data to a with private limited commission paid account data why still some students sleeping up huh? why you are telling wrong accounting entries a v private limited example amount is one lakh mm -hmm. And uh, when the payment mm -hmm. take what? Yes, yes. 53. 53. What is accounting entry? AV private limited mm -hmm. account data to outgoing payment account. AV private limited account. Expense payment. Huh? What? I mean, what happened, everyone? AV private limited account data to outgoing payment. Outgoing payment. Here, one lakh and one lakh. So, everyone, now let's try to understand. Here you can catch the point here, everyone. This is called invoice posting. This is called invoice posting. And this is called payment posting. This is called payment posting. And now, BRS, Bank Reconciliation Statement. BRS, Bank Reconciliation Statement. So if you do the BRS, guys, here incoming payment, how much? Incoming payment, how much, everyone? 20,000. Outgoing payment, how much? One lakh. One lakh. So how much closing balance? 20,000. 20,000. So that finally, that results want to come if you generate the BRS. Now, if you do the BRS, if you do the BRS, what is the T code for bank statement upload? FF67. FS. PRS. EFF67. So, what is the accounting entry for vendor side? What is the accounting entry for customer side? Sorry, first customer side. Let's see customer side. What is the accounting entry? Everyone? Incoming. Main bank account data to incoming payment account. Incoming payment. Payment. Amount is one lakh twenty thousand. Here one lakh twenty thousand. Second data important. Here in vendor side, how much? What is accounting entry? Outgoing payment account. Outgoing payment account. Outgoing payment account. Outgoing payment Here you can observe one thing, everyone. If you observe, the, is this correct, everyone? Is this correct accounting entries? Yes, no, okay? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Here you can observe one thing, everyone. So this is for customer side and this is for vendor side, okay? Is it? You can observe here one thing, everyone. You can observe here. Customer is debit here. And the customer is credit here. So customer is debit and customer is credit. Will going to nullified. Agree or not? Yes. It's yes. become a zero. 
Yes, sir. And incoming payment, incoming payment is debit and incoming payment is credit. It is also going to nullified. Agree or not? Yes, sir. Yes. So finally, what is the accounting entry? Main bank account data to commission. Oh, income. Bank account data to income. Bank account data to income. What is the bank? Bank is the main bank account. HDFC main bank account data to commission received. Commission is a income credit. Ba amount is coming. Bank is debit. Understood everyone? These accounting entries. Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Simultaneously, you can observe vendor side also. Here you can observe vendor is credit and vendor is debit credit debit and going to nullified agree or not it's become a zero yes, and uh, here outgoing payment is credit outgoing payment is debit credit debit going to nullified it's become a zero so final accounting entry is expenses account data to bank expenses means commission paid account data to main bank account so here main bank balance is 1 lakh 20 thousand is debit 1 lakh is credit so finally closing balance is 20 thousand agree or not yes or no yes sir yes Noted on this, this testings we do in the SAP. So this is the testings we want to do. Note it down, everyone. Please note it down, area. Respond everyone once you completed.
Yes, no, done. Okay, completed. Done, sir. Done, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, sir. One yeah, second. Please note it down. Yeah, please note it down first. Please note it down fast, everyone. Done, sir. Done, sir. Done. Very good. So now, first one. I want to create master data. BP. BP master data. First, create customer master data. What is the accounting entry? Create customer, uh, sorry. Create customer master data. BP. What is that? AC Private Limited. Create Vendor Master Data. AV Private Limited. Everybody knows how to create customer and vendor? Yes, no, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, let's sir. create one second. Let's say, okay. Right. Let's create the customer. Let's create the custom. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. Go to BP, business partner. And select your organization. And select the role. Uh, custom Customer financial accounting. Customer financial accounting, create. And here, IC, IC, right? Or which company code? IC, right? Yes. Yes, IC. Then here you can write AC Private Limited. And here, AC PL. And address located in Amir Pet, house number 6 780 and 5000 92 Hyderabad, country India, region optional, post box number then 92 92 here language English. So in case if you want to maintain customer bank details, what, where I want to go? Customer bank details, anyone? Payment transaction. Oh, very good everyone. Here you want to go before going to click on company code, here click on your payment transaction. In this tab, you have to maintain customer bank details. Customer bank name, customer bank account, customer uh, IFSC code, like customer bank related things. Example, uh, country, India, bank key. Example, bank key means uh, customer bank IFSC code. Example, uh, you know, uh, Canara IC001. Anything. Uh, Double line like that. And bank account number, customer bank account number. Uh, 8989-0909-0909. And click on your master data. Here bank name, example, Canara Bank. Customer bank name, everyone. Reason, example, you can take any reason here. I'm taking Andhra Pradesh. Street. AV Street. AV Street. City. 
Hyderabad. Branch, AV branch. Anything, SIP to code. If you want to maintain SIP to code, you can maintain, otherwise keep it as it is. Then after that, what can I do everyone? So here I maintain customer details. And here I maintain customer bank details. After that, what can I do everyone? Please concentrate here. Company, company. company code. Ah, very good everyone. Click on your company code. And check the company code and delete this one existing one. And uh, give it here your company code. What is your company code? I see one zero enter then reconciliation account and uh, short key short key and come down and go to payment transaction terms of payment triple zero one and come down here payment method c means check t means bank transfer Press enter, then save. Guys, do you understood how to create the customer master? Yes, no, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Very good. The next one. Next, we want to create vendor master data. We want to create vendor master data. So how to create vendor master data? Same T code, everyone. BP, business, go to same T code and click on your organization. Then here, supplier financial accounting. Supplier financial accounting. Here I see domestic I'm taking. Example, uh, AV, AV private limited, AV private limited, and AV PL address, SR Nagar, house number 4-5678, year 5300. 73 Hyderabad country India region optional here you can take post box number postal code and language English language English so now if I want to maintain vendor bank details vendor bank details where I want to go vendor bank details Payment transactions. Payment transactions. Oh, go to payment transaction. Here country India. Here ICICI and IC double nine. IFSC code everyone. Zero eight nine anything. Then bank account number double three double three double three double three four five six seven eight. Click on your master data, vendor bank details. This is vendor bank name, vendor bank address, vendor bank IFSC code, vendor bank account number, vendor related thing. In the customer master data, in the customer master data, we will maintain customer bank details. In the vendor master data, we will maintain vendor bank details where our company bank details we can maintain anyone please where our company bank details we will maintain ic10 bank details where we will maintain hare krishna can i sign out the class will meet tomorrow in house bank house bank house bank uh, then respond na, everyone please everyone So here, vendor bank name, example, ICICA bank, uh, reason, take any reason here, and uh, street, uh, street, uh, AC street, city, 
Hyderabad KC branch and shift code if you want you can maintain otherwise optional then after that what can i do everyone after that what can i do company click on code. here click. company code and here check the company code in case it is not your company code delete existing one give it here your company code ic10 reconciliation account domestic vendor short key 012 payment transaction triple zero one immediate payment and c and t c for check t for bank transfer here payment method and save so like this you have to create master data you have to create master data the next one is called next one is called vendor invoice posting guys if you post these accounting entries you know end to end process if you post these accounting entries okay first one customer invoice fb70 customer invoice fb70 slash and customer invoice fb70 press enter and check the company code ic10 and click on your OK. Customer invoice. Let's take the customer. You already know, right? Everybody know how to post customer invoice, how to post vendor invoice, how to post customer payment, how to post vendor vendor payment. Everybody know? Yes, no, OK? Yes, yes. 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 yes sir. Once again, you can see, OK? It's uh, one type of region. Why two? Achha, this one, no, see priority. And uh, document date, posting date, whatever date you want. Please remember one to one hundred customer number. A reference. We are doing testing. And here being customer invoice posting. And here you can take any income. Three two. Double zero double zero amount is one lakh twenty thousand. Tap 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 tap. Give it your cost center. Enter. Copy this amount. Control C and paste it here. Enter. Click on your simulate and post. Go to document and display. Here, everyone, 0, 01 means debit, 50 means credit. Customer account data to commission received. Is this correct, one, everyone? Correct? Yes, no? Yes, yes. yes, sir. yes, sir. yes. The next one. The next one is called Let's Post Vendor Invoice. Let's post vendor invoice. Post vendor invoice. And let's post vendor invoice. What is the T code, everyone? FB60. And check the company code here also. IC10. Am I going fast, everyone, or everyone following? No, fast, no. Following now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. and here, uh, what is our vendor, everyone? AV, right? AV private limited. And here, document date, posting date, whatever date you want. And here, being vendor invoice posting. Here, expenses double four, double zero, double zero. Amount is one lakh. I am taking. Tap, 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 tap. Here you can take cost center. Enter. Copy this amount. Control C and paste it here. Enter. Click on your simulate and post. Click 
Target simulate and the post. Go to document and display. Is this correct entry, everyone? 40 means debit, 31 means credit. Commission paid account data to vendor. Is this correct one? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. The yes. next one. Next one, everyone. Let us post customer payment and vendor payment. Customer payment and vendor payment. Let's do the customer payment. Let's do the customer payment. So customer payment is slash and go back f dash 28. F dash 28. And as usual, take the document date, posting date, whatever date you want. Then reference, we are doing testing. Here, which GL we want to take? Yes. Cash Incoming app. payment. Incoming go. Why? Still you are in cash? Here, what is the incoming payment GL number? Double two. Double zero. Three two. Double two, double zero. Three two. And here amount is 1,20,000. And here the customer. What is the customer, everyone? Customer number. This one, 12100. Click on your process open item. Does not exist. Three, two. Double two, double zero, three, two, na? Value date, you can take current date, everyone. Value date means present date. Don't forget to take this. Value date means current date. Take correct GL, double two, double zero, three two. Click on your process open item. And this is the invoice value. And this is the payment value. Finally, it's become zero. Go to document, simulate, and post. Go to document and display. Everyone, 40 means debit, 15 means credit. Incoming payment account data to customer. Is this correct, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes. And let's do the vendor payment. Let's do the vendor payment. And uh, example, what is the T code for vendor payment? F-53. Very good. F-53. And as usual, check the document date, posting date, whatever date you want. Here we are doing testing. Here, which GL will come here? Outgoing payment. Outgoing payment. Oh, very good. Here, double two. Double zero three one three one amount is one lakh. And here you can take value date means present date, today date, everyone. In the SAP, value date means current date. And here vendor. Here you can take vendor. Uh, who is that vendor? AV Private Limited. Click on your process open item. Then go to document, simulate, and post. Go to document and display. Go to document and display. 50 means credit, 25 means debit. AV private limited account data to outgoing payment. Is this correct one, everyone? Correct or wrong? Yes, sir. Yes. So my dear students, here you can concentrate here, everyone. Here you can concentrate here. For example, for example, everyone, if you see main bank account, main bank account, how much opening balance, everyone? Do you have any opening balance up to now? 
no sé. Opening balance. Opening balance is zero. Now, how much incoming payment? One lakh twenty thousand. One lakh twenty thousand. One lakh twenty thousand. How much outgoing payment? One lakh. One lakh. One lakh. How much closing balance? Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand debit balance. Very good. Twenty thousand. For example, everyone, if you see the report, everyone, if you see the report, for example, uh, go to FBL, FBL 3N, press enter. And here you can give uh, incoming payment, sorry, a main bank account, double two, double zero, enter, uh, star enter. If you give main bank account, press all items, then execute. I'm giving main bank account. See, there is a no transactions. Up to now, we did not posted any accounting entry in main bank account. Okay. Yes, agree or not. Opening balance is zero. Currently, there is a no balance in the main bank account. Opening balance is zero. Now, what I want to do I want to make incoming payment, outgoing payment. Let's see that report, everyone. Example, incoming payment, three, one, three, two. Then click on here, execute. Here you can observe everyone, which transaction you are analyzing here. Today date, this transaction. So what is this? This is called outgoing payment. This is called outgoing payment, this value. I'm taking this transaction, everyone. And uh, this is called incoming payment. Incoming payment, this transaction. For example, in the real time, you are not required to analyze FBL 3N. Generally, what happened? If you see the statement, bank statement, if you see the bank statement on the bank statement, and uh, you can analyze all the details, bank account number, opening balance, uh, withdrawals, deposits, closing balance, everything you will find the bank statement. Agree or not everyone? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so based on the bank statement, physical document, you want to enter all the transactions manually. Where? FF67. MBRS means for your understanding purpose, manual BRS. On the FF67, all the transaction they will enter in manually. Withdrawal transaction and depositor transactions. So here, everything you only do not. That is the reason. So now my transaction is everyone. Example, let's imagine. Let's imagine. I have two transactions in my bank statement. Let's imagine I have two transactions in my bank statement. One transaction is called incoming payment deposit 1,20,000. One transaction is called outgoing payment 1 lakh. Closing balance is 20,000. Just imagine in my bank statement we have uh, only two transactions. So how to update this bank statement in the SAP? Clear, clear so far, yes, no, okay, what I'm telling? Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. So what is the T code to upload the bank statement? FF67. FF67. Go to FF67, everyone. Concentrate here, my dear students. Very, very important. Open new session. Go to FF67. Press enter. What is this? Process manual bank statement. Process manual bank statement. So before going to process manual bank statement, 
So we created variant. Did you remember? Yesterday we created variant. Yes, no, okay. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, very good. So we created variant, everyone. So example, my dear students, first here, here you need to activate our variant. Go to settings, click on your specifications. What is our variant, everyone? What is our variant? I see something is there. Nah? Here you can take, take the variant. What is your variant, everyone? Click on your browse. I see something. Is this one, right? I see BVT. Is this one? Correct? Yes, no? Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. yes. Select this variant and click on here. Okay. Now, everyone, concentrate here. What details is asking? What details is asking? First bank key means IFSC code. If you see the bank statement, you will get all the details. IFSC code. Our, our company bank details. IFSC code. Bank account number. Currency. Bank statement number. Bank statement date. Opening balance and closing balance and posting date. If you see uh, the bank statement, you will get all the details. Agree or not? Yes or no? Yes. 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 So, for example, currently, I do not have bank statement. Where I will get these details? My company bank details, where I will get? House bank. House bank. Very good. Where I will get my bank details? On house bank. What is the T code for house bank? F I. Do? So here I will get my company bank details. I see one zero. So my dear students, concentrate here. First one, what it is asking? Bank key. So what is the bank key? This is the bank key. This is the bank key. And uh, do you know how to check this house bank details? Yes, no? You don't know? You know, right? How to create and all. You already know. Yes, yes. Go to F512 and click on your position. Give it here your company code. Select the company code. First, double click on house bank and double click on bank accounts. Here you will find all your bank related details. So, bank key. This is the bank key. Then bank account number. This is the bank account number. Bank account number. Why this much big account number? 65. Maybe it won't allow. Let it be. Currency. INR. Why we taken this much big amount? everyone? Anyway. And bank statement number. Example, I'm taking 0001. Bank statement number. On the bank statement, you will find. But here you can enter any number. Post statement date. Example, I'm taking uh, month end date or any date you can take. I'm taking tomorrow date, today date, whatever date you can take. And let's take today date. Why tomorrow? Today, how much date everyone? 21st. 21st. So here, how much opening balance, everyone? How much opening balance in my scenario? Zero. 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 How much closing balance? 20,000. 20,000. 20, and posting date, today date. Uh, do you want to write, everyone? Do you want to write this? Yes, sir. Note it down. Here, go to settings and specification. Here, you want to select the variant. Okay, let's find variant is good. Hare Krishna. Note it down. 
Guys, what happened? Right, yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Completed. And yes, sir. here, no, please note it down. Fast, fast. Then. Then completed everyone? Yes, sir. And simply press enter everyone. Pre after entering these details, press enter. Press enter. Enter again. Here, here you need to enter business transaction. For example, uh, first one, example, anything, anything. It may be incoming payment or maybe outgoing payment. For example, incoming payment. Did you remember yesterday we created a business transaction? Incoming payment business transaction. I see something is there now, everyone. Anyone remember yesterday business transaction? I see IT, yeah? I see IT, I see incoming business transaction. I see OT, I see outgoing business. Is this correct, everyone? Is this ours? You noted everyone yesterday. Yes, yes. Yes. So now I'm selecting ICIT, then value date means current date. Value date means current date. And here, uh, and please stop the video, man. And uh, here, amount. Amount is how much amount, everyone, for incoming payment? How much amount? 1,20,000. 1,20,000, everyone. As it is, you can copy paste here. One lakh twenty thousand. What is the document number? And this is the document number. This is the document number. And business area. This is the business area. This is the business area. Now, outgoing payment. Click on your browse. What is the outgoing payment? I see something is there. Na? I see something. Outgoing payment. And value date means present date. And here, amount is how much amount? Here, 1 lakh. Here, 1 lakh. Even you can copy this minus also, everyone. For outgoing payment, you can copy this minus also. Here, minus is there, na? system understanding purpose. System will ask this minus also. And here, document number. This is the document number. This is the document. Business area. This is the business area. And press enter. Like this, everyone. 
for all deposits enter manually withdrawals enter manually like this how many transaction in your bank statement all the transaction we are uploading manually that is called manual brs all the transaction one by one one by one one by one one by one, one, by one all the transaction we are going to upload in manually this is called manual brs bank statement brs all the things we are going to upload in manually is called manual brs following everyone yes no yes uh, anybody using in tally everyone anybody knows tally tally software yes sir yes sir uh, in the tally brs means Simply, we can go to the transaction, update in the value date. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, are you remember? Yes, sir. Yes. Wow. Oh, good. Oh, very good. Uh, so, in the tally, everyone, uh, here, uh, simply, we are going to update uh, in value date, everyone. But in here, in the SAP system, so we want to update business transaction, value date, amount, document number, and business area. Why this many fields has came here? Why? Because yesterday, yesterday in the variant, in the variant, we selected these fields. That is the reason these fields has came here. Okay. Following everyone, what I'm telling, yes, no, okay? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yes, sir. Yes. So here you can check entered a value and bank value. Everything must be an equal. And uh, here go to statement. And first here you can click on your uh, save. Everyone concentrate here. Be careful here. Be careful here. Click on your save. So your bank statement, statement listed as save. And go to bank statement, post. Process all statements here, here. First you can save, message will come like this. And here bank statement, post and all proceed statement. Click on this. We have one more type of BRS, electronical BRS, manual BR, uh, automatic BRS, everyone. Entering this all the transaction in manually, directly we can upload that bank statement into the SAP. That will come, everyone. That will come, not now. So we want to practice both, okay? Questions, questions, please. Yes, no. Anyone, any questions? Feel free so, to ask. Uh, uh, FI12 Ferrari. So I'm unable to update my uh, company code. I'm unable to see my company code. Fury, Still, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fury will see, sir. Fury, we will uh, see. Okay. Yeah, you please ask any doubt in bank statement. We will check. No problem. Okay. Don't worry about that. Okay. So for all the customers and vendors, we can upload in one shot, sir. Or as ah, the all the statement, customers. all the transaction, madam. All the transaction, one shot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Statement uh, date and posting date will be same, sir. Statement date? And posting date will be same or different? Ah, same. Yes. Answer is yes. Okay. Say hi. Hello. So everyone, this transaction want to come, okay? And uh, uh, so this is want to come everyone. Like uh, number of errors, how many errors? There is nothing errors, everything is zero. Our total debit balance, 1,20,000. And total credit balance is 1 lakh. And uh, let's observe like this. And document has been posted. And uh, uh, this one. And for example, everyone, do one thing, everyone. 
concentrate here. Go to FV03 and enter. Let's observe here, everyone. Sorry, not FB03. Uh, go to FBL, VN. Give it your main bank account. What is our main bank account, everyone? Main bank account number. Main bank account number, everyone. Double two double zero three zero. Double two double zero three zero. Click on your all items, then execute. Previously, there is a no balance. Yes or no? Agree or not? Yes. Previously, no balance. Nothing is there. If you click on your execute, see, now balance has came. Previously, before going to uploading FF67, there is a no balance. Now, how much balance is there? Closing balance? 20,000. Is this correct, everyone? Correct process? Yes, no? Yes. 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 And how see these accounting entries? I even I want to observe these accounting entries now. This accounting main bank account data to incoming payment one lakh twenty thousand. Outgoing payment account data to main bank account. So even I want to observe these accounting entries right here. One lakh twenty thousand. So here you just double click on this first line item. Click on your call up point overview. Here, let's see here everyone. 40 means debit, 50 means credit. Main bank account data to incoming payment. Is this correct? Yes. 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 And uh, here, uh, double click on second line item. Click on your call up point. And 40 means debit, 50 means credit. Outgoing payment, 40 means debit, 50 means credit. Outgoing payment account data to main bank account. Outgoing payment account data to main bank account. Yes, no? Agree? Done? Yes. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Any questions about BRS, sir? Any questions? Please go on mute. Your voice is uh, Yuko, sir. Uh, send text message. We'll see. Next question. Next, uh, anybody, any other questions? No questions, sir. Ah, that Fury one, uh, Fury one, uh, you can connect with Lakshmi ma'am. If Lakshmi ma'am will never help, then I can connect you. Okay. okay. I have dropped the email on Friday as so, well. No, you can call to her after uh, 11 o'clock. Now you can call to her and okay. she will connect one technical Fury person and she will help you. Okay. If she, if, in case day, if they are not help, again, no, again, I, I know the other day the people connected. I given some instruction to them. Again, they will go into connect. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Okay, everyone. Uh, some message. Uh, suppose during the uploading amount mismatching, uh, then if you mismatch in the below, there is a entered value and the bank value. It will not going to match. So statement unable to post. There is a. I showed one thing now. Uh, FF sixty seven. For example. Uh, here, uh, there is a value will come. For example, The after entering, uh, if you click on here, okay, after entering all debit balance and credit balance, below these values I showed, like entered value and uh, bank values, it must be an equal. You can watch recording session once again. And if you are any values mismatching, na, that if you are not uh, equal that value, statement will unable to post. Okay? Okay, okay thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, everyone. Bye, everyone. We'll meet tomorrow with new topic. Okay.